I was talking to a guy that I respect dearly the other day, and he told me not to get so distracted fighting the alligators that I forget to clean the swamp. Richside K9 coming to you today while we expose Crash and Blaze to a little bit of urban action and get them out of the mountains and take them down into town, I guess you could call it. So everything they do in their young little lives is exposure and there's never ever enough exposure on a young dog, especially a dog that you want to be confident, stable, clear, operate with power, operate with enthusiasm, etc. So putting them in the car and taking them for a ride, while it might seem, seem simple, is actually very, very important. So they love to ride. There's no car sickness. There's no nervousness. There's no any kind of apprehension towards jumping in the car. They actually, you know, love it. So they load up with no problem. We take them down here. We get to the mall and boom, we're going into the mall. Quick disclaimer, do not just take your dogs to a random mall. Call the mall first. Every single mall in America has a security office. Call the security office. Tell them what you're doing. 99% chance they say no problem, and that's the case with this mall. So they said no issues at all, do whatever you want to do. And I was just real up front. I said, listen, I'm trying to condition a couple puppies. I just want to walk them through, and they said have at it. So we're in here. The dogs were a little bit apprehensive coming in, but they're still wagging their tails, ears forward. They're operating with enthusiasm. They're staying motivated. They're jumping on what I tell them to jump on. They're checking what I'm telling them to check. They're eating food. They aren't refusing food. They aren't refusing to comply. They aren't, you know, throwing up, tucking their tails or tucking their ears or doing any of this silly stuff. They're they're doing really, really good. So right here, Crash didn't want to jump up on that table. The reason is because there is about a 35-foot drop-off in front of him, and he wasn't comfortable with it the first couple times. So we don't accept that. We continue to lure. We continue to encourage, and boom, he jumps up, goes over and checks it out. Says, okay, this isn't so bad. I want to eat more than my fear is of the height. So his belly takes over. He still wants to eat. Okay, no problem. Here's some more food, bud. And he's doing really, really well. So please remember, I have two of these little tears, so I have to do this all twice. So what I do is very short reps, get the dogs moving, get them exposed. We're right on elevators, going up, going down, and I take them right back out, right to the truck, and get a new dog and bring them in. And I do this three or four times for every exposure opportunity. That way they get short bits, go out, regroup, clear their head, come back in. They're always, always, always stronger the second time through. Always stronger the third time, always stronger the fourth time. So keep rocking like that. Take him out. I brought Blaze in, did the same routine with Blaze, and we're coming back in here. The next time in, I'm going to ask a little bit more. I'm going to ask them to put their paws up on strange objects. These are trash cans. People touch them. They're full of unknown objects. Again, yes, I think I see a little bit of apprehension in them. However, keep in mind they're on multi-surface tile floor. Rough tile, slick tile, different colors, different shapes, different shadows. People walking by. We're going up and down escalators. We're going on carpet. We're touching strange trash cans. And we're doing it with enthusiasm. Tails wagging, ears up, taking food. Life is great. Life is good. These dogs are going to be awesome. I mean, they, they just really impress me. Every time I take them somewhere new, they just they just do it. And it's, it's really cool. So they're teaching me a lot. I'm learning a lot from them. I, I think we're operating like a good team. Uh, you know, we're all giving. We're all taking a little bit. They got me last night. We had two crate blowouts. I think I maybe I overfed them and didn't give them a good enough break, but they let me pay for that. So we're going right up and down escalators. I have seen full bore working dogs refuse to go up escalators. So the fact that they're doing it now at a very, very young age is just fantastic. And with that, boom, that lesson's done. We go right back out to the car. So Richside Farm, Richside Canine, Conditioning Crash and Blaze. If you guys need help with your dogs in any capacity, be it obedience, socialization, conditioning, exposure, household obedience, life skills, whatever, give us a call.